Hi. Uh, first of all, thanks for staying till the last, or perhaps the last but one presentation. And I can really have a handful of audience. So maybe I'll have the maximum impact on the few of you and connect back with you. That's still, uh, thanks for staying back. And let me just uh, uh, run you past what our company does. Uh, so I am the vice president for Park Energy Private Limited. We are a German multinational company uh, held privately by three individuals. Uh, I'm, can you, I'm trying to do this, it's not. Uh, okay, so the, the pictures you see here, oh, something is, uh, are actually of our own projects. Uh, this is a ground mount, as you can see, this is a rooftop and again a rooftop here. So uh, truly so, we are more of a rooftop, less of a ground mount company. We call ourselves largely a CNI player in the market. Uh, we are ranked number one in Europe and uh, 11 in the world. When we say ranked number one, we are the largest developer in Europe. We have more than two gigawatts of capacity uh, as a general contractor and about a 1500 megawatts of projects that we have as an owner, okay? And out of these 1500, out of the 2300, 1500 projects are actually our own projects. We have our head of headquarters in Hamburg, uh, then strategic offices in Bangalore and Australia. Until last year, we had an office in US, which we divested, right? And uh, again, as a developer, 300 plus projects, are pro we exist in 20 plus countries. And uh, founded in 2008 in Hamburg, but established in India in 2012. So that's a little bit of the brief. Again, uh, ranked number one in Europe and 11 in the world, just to give you a scale. So this is the overall thing. Central Europe, out of the 2,300 megawatts, 1,400 megawatts is done here. Then about 111 megawatts in UK. Uh, then Europe and Central Asia. Uh, summing up to about 400 odd megawatts. Then India, where we have done about 150 megawatts of projects. The asset base has increased to about 10 megawatts now, out of which we are operating roughly about 50 megawatts of projects. So in again, as I said, the US entity has been divested and it is actually uh, now sold to a different company. So uh, in short, a presence across the world, limited presence in India owing to the market uncertainties and uh, also uh, there is a lot of uh, requirements when it comes to debt financing in India. Since we are a privately held company, we don't actually bite more than what we can chew. And uh, This is the global structure of Park. I'll just run past this, it doesn't. Uh... So coming to India, we have been established in 2012, August onwards, we started operations, but then re registration and everything happened by Jan 2013, headquartered in Bangalore. Uh, we have, yeah, so this is uh, first commercial project, perhaps I would say in India of this sorts, uh, solar power plant right next to a runway, an active runway. And uh, again, this is another commercial project, which is actually in a port, uh, a solar power plant with thin film modules installed on a crane. Here we have used thin film modules as the cranes uh, have a certain level of vibration that comes when they operate. And if you use normal polycrystalline or monocrystalline modules, they crack when these vibrations happen. So hence we used thin film modules for this. And one of its kind, we are expanding the capacity again here. And uh, yeah, also we have done the world's first solar relocation project right next to our runway. Uh, so the Delhi International Airport, when it was expanding, we removed our existing plant and relocated it to a new location and expanded the capacity from uh, about uh, five megawatts to seven megawatts. Uh, again, as I said, the India story for us about 150 megawatts. As an owner, we are close to 10 megawatts now and as an operator, 42. Uh, the average team experience is 20 plus years and uh, most of the who's who of solar in India have been working with us at one point of time or currently working with us. Uh, this is the brand wall 
So just as how the clean tech person was showing, this is a brief of the kind of clientele that we have, uh, the who's who in the industry, starting from uh, fragrance manufacturers like Jivudan to cold cream manufacturers like Nivea, to pharmaceutical manufacturers like Zydus Pharma, to bathtub manufacturers like Kohler, and uh, fasteners manufacturers like Aramon, or compressor manufacturers like Atlas Copco, or mattress manufacturers like Corlon. So mostly, largely commercial and industrial customers, and I would say more industrial, less of commercial. Yeah. Uh, few projects uh, here you would see all all kind of projects projects that are on uh, you know uh, roofs which are perhaps of different orientations projects which are ground mount for commercial and industrial customers this is a ground mount project for the bathtub company kohler which was uh, you know which is now on the verge of expansion as well so you can usually when you say cni people only think of rooftops but it can be, as well be ground mount this is uh, RCC roof with a ballast structure that we did in Gujarat for Zydus Hospira pharmaceutical company. So, and this BFW is our own investment project in Karnataka. So to most of our clients who are in the Karnataka or surrounding regions, we show this as a reference and it's a successfully running project in its third year. This is for St. Gobain Glass, uh, a continuous two megawatt project on one single roof. Uh, quite challenging in terms of the walkway positions and the cable tray positions and so on and so forth. Uh, some of the roof plus ground mount portfolio that we have, again, uh, uh, these two are ground mount utility projects. This for 25 megawatts in Punjab, again, the complete turnkey EPC was done by us. Uh, going forward, these are some ground mount projects, Technique Solaire in Uttarakhand, uh, 10 megawatts for the Hyderabad airport, Hyderabad airport completely runs on solar power plants of our company, uh, about considerably 70% of the power requirement for Delhi International Airport is also taken care of from our solar power plant. Uh, then Kurlon, the mattress company, this you can see again is a ground mount project, but again a commercial and industrial project. So it's possible to have the ground mounts as well in commercial and industrial scenario, which is not usually looked upon. Uh, that's uh, pretty much what I had to say. Uh, and there is one picture that I uh, wanted you to show. So I think, uh, yeah, uh, that, that the one next to it, yeah, that's it, yeah. So I guess somebody from Cleantech was talking about the project in Singapore where they had a ground mount rooftop, I mean, sorry, rooftop, uh, flat roof, tilted roof, as well as carport. So we have our own example here in India. Next slide, if you can go, that'll be good. So yeah, so this is a project that just got inaugurated. It has a, a carport, as you can see, of three types. This has a rooftop on a flat roof, RCC roof, and a tilted roof as well. So it has all the three different kinds of roofs and it is our own investment. So it's not that you have to go all the way to Singapore to see such examples. You have them right next door as well. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Thanks a lot for staying by and do connect with us if you have any queries and uh, uh, thanks for giving audience at this late hour as well. Thank you very much. Yeah.